Hey guys, today I'm here to bring you a reformer flow focusing on the obliques. Today we will only be using our reformer, our box, and a squishy ball. That's all the equipment you are going to need for this session. As always, make sure you listen to your body, modify as necessary, and if you feel that you need to change the springs to adjust for your reformer or how your body is feeling today, please do so. When you're ready, gather your equipment and we will get started. Alright guys, so I have my reformer set up on two heavy and one medium spring. My headrest is up and we're going to start lying down. Head on the headrest and for a moment heels on the foot bar. Just hold that ball right in between your hands, elbows wide. Just adjust your heels so they feel nice and stable, toes pointing up to the ceiling. We'll flex our feet, pinky toes back towards the shins, thigh bones parallel. Take a breath, inhale here, expand the ribs sideways. And then exhale, just squeeze in on that ball as you knit the ribs together. Inhale, expand the ribs outwards. Exhale, knit the ribs together and squeeze the ball. We'll do two more just like that. Inhaling, expanding the ribs. You should feel them extending into the carriage beneath you. Exhale, squeezing the ball, knitting the, the ribs together. And one more time, inhaling out and exhaling in. On your next inhale out, press the carriage out and inhale, pull the carriage in. Press out and in. So spring's not too heavy right now. Just warming up through the hips, through the knees, through the ankles. Continuing that little squeeze on the ball as you bring the carriage home. Let's do four more here and three. The last two, the last one, come all the way in, move to your toes exactly where the heels were, inhale, press out, exhale, squeeze the ball as you come in, inhale out, exhale in. Let's just do four more here, and three, the last two, the last one. Press the legs back out to straight and just run through the legs. So one knee bends as the other heel lowers underneath the foot bar and switch and switch and switch. Nice and buoyant here for eight and seven. Last four, three, two, and one. Lift both heels up nice and high. Tiptoe your feet till they're next to one another. Bend the knees just a little bit and bring your left heel onto the foot bar. Your right knee is going to come into a tabletop position. You're gonna take that ball against that thigh and give a little inward pressure of the hand against the thigh, the thigh against the hand. Other arm is resting down by your sides. Now from here, we press out and come all the way in. As you press the carriage out, this time you can add a little pressure inward on that ball from both directions. We will do eight and seven and six. Pay attention to those obliques now. You've got four more here and three and two. Last one, come halfway in and little pulse and pulse. Little press on that ball every time you press the carriage out, just an inch, just an inch. For eight and seven and six, four, three, two, and one. Straighten that leg all the way out for a moment. Come all the way in. Move to your toes on that same side, knee still pointing up to the ceiling. Extend your other leg to the sky and place that ball against your shin. Again, we're gonna press the carriage all the way out and all the way in, adding a little pressure inward with the shin and the hand onto that ball. Find that breath, exhale. Both sides of the waist are equally long here. You've got four more. The last two, last one, come halfway in, little pulse, press and pulse. For eight 
and seven. Now again, we're just moving an inch, which is about the size of a little paper clip. It's not too big here for four and three and two and one. Stretch the leg all the way out, come all the way in. Move to your heel on your other leg. Find that foot bar, place the ball against your opposite thigh, little gentle pressure inward from both directions. When you're ready, press all the way out and in. Good. Establish even weight on both sides of your pelvis throughout this movement. Nice job. Let's do four more here, guys. And three. The last two. Halfway in. Good. And here we go. An inch. An inch. An inch. Pinky toe to shin. Really flex that foot for eight, seven. Knee straight up to the ceiling. Keep reminding yourself of your alignment as we work. We've got four more here. And three, and two, and one. Stretch the leg long, come all the way in. Move to your toes on that same side. Extend your other leg. Ball to the shin, inward pressure. Press all the way out and in. Good. Make sure your pinky toe is included on all the toes that are attached to the foot bar. Try not to leave that little guy out. Let's do four more here. And three. Last time, halfway in, out and in, just that paper clip size. For eight, settle in, seven. Last four. Last two. And last time, come all the way out, come all the way in. For a moment, we're gonna take that headrest down behind us just to do a little bit of bridging. So lower your headrest. We'll bring our feet onto the foot bar. I'm going arches on, I'm squeezing the ball in between my inner thighs and let's articulate our way up into a bridge and articulate our way all the way down. Let's just do two more like that. Rolling through that spine. Last time we'll stay up at the top. Shift your weight into your right foot, extend your left leg long and squeeze into that ball for eight and seven. Nice open collarbones, six. Propel those hips upwards, you've got four. Three, last time, without shifting through the hips, lower the foot down, switch it over to the other side and squeeze in for eight and seven. Keep pushing upwards and six. Last four, three, almost there. Last time, without shifting through the hips, lower the foot down and then articulate through the spine. Very nice job, guys. I'm gonna lift my headrest up just because it's more comfortable for me. <clears throat> We're gonna sit all the way up for a moment and switch out our springs. So I'm gonna go down to one medium spring. Everything else is coming off. And then laying all the way back down here, ball back between the inner thighs. Grab onto just your right strap. Bring your knees into tabletop. Your other arm is just hovering an inch above the carriage. Good, when you're ready, lower the arm down by the side and lift the arm up. Nice, smooth motion through your springs. Every time you bring the, ball or bring the arm down, squeeze in on that ball a bit. Exhale, squeeze and lower. Exhale, squeeze and lower. Let's just do four more here and then we'll add on a bit. Three, nice long arm, two, and last one. Now hold the arm down by the side, let the hips rock to the other side, knees and hips, come back center and lift the arm. Let's do that again. Lower the arm, 
Tick tock the hips away from your strap. Come on back center and bring the arm back up. Four more, lower, tilt the hips, come center and lift. Lower, tilt the hips, come center and lift. I'm using my waistline to control my lower body. Last time, center and lift. Beautiful, bring that same arm out to the side and hug it into the hip and move back out to your T position. Exhale on the way in. Now I can feel that my knees and my toes are trying to shift to adjust for that load on the right hand side. So just be conscious of that and try to use your obliques to minimize the movement of the rest of your body. Let's do four more here. And three. Last time. Bring the hand up to the sky. Slip your other hand in behind it. From here, we're gonna just rock the knees over to the right as we curl the head, neck, and chest up and reach past, past the left thigh. Lower down and lift up on that angle. Lower down and lift up on that angle. Let's do four more here. And three. And last time. Very nice job. Lower the feet down, lower the hand down, replace your strap, and readjust for the other side. So we'll bring that strap up. I'm just not making sure I'm not twisted. Other hand is hovering down by your side. Give that ball a squeeze as the arm lowers. Relax it as you lift. Exhale and inhale. Good, let's do four more here. And three. Last time, hold the arm down by the side, tick tock the hips away from your strap, come back center and lift the arm. Lower and lift. Lower, rock, center, lift. Four more here. Good. Trying to keep those knees in line with one another as you lift them up and over to the other side. Last two. And last time. Beautiful job. Keep those knees up. Bring your arm out to the side. Establish even weight through the back side of the pelvis and then hug the arm into the side of the body and back out. Exhale and inhale. Feel like you're almost leading with the pinky side of the hand as it comes in. You've got four more here. And three. And last time through. Beautiful, bring that arm back up. Slip your loose hand inside behind it and turn the knees over to the left. From here, we're just gonna lift up on that diagonal and lower down through center. Lift and lower. I'm moving the knees slightly out of the way as my hands come down. Let's do four and three. And last time here. Very nice job. Lower those feet for a moment, place your strap back and we will come all the way up and turn around. You can place your ball just down by your side Coming to kneeling, facing back on the reformer, knees against the shoulder blocks, hands on the wooden side rails, thumbs on top to protect those fingers. Nice long spine. Let's just pull the knees underneath us and extend the carriage back again. Flat back here. So I'm not tucking my tailbone under. I'm trying to maintain that neutral spine as I pull. Let's do four more here. Last two, 
And last one. Now pull the knees in just so they're directly underneath your hips. Hands are directly in line with the shoulders. We're gonna round the spine coming into a cat position. Carriage stays still. And then we're gonna arch the back coming into a cow position. Round the spine, cat. Arch the back, cow. And now you're controlling the movement through the core. Again, the carriage is about an inch off of the stopper, if not just a little less than that. Beautiful, let's do four. And three, make this movement nice and precise. You can move slower or quicker than me. The last two. And one more time. Very nice job. Keeping that neutral position, shift the weight into the right leg. You might need to move your knee to the center a little bit and extend the other leg back behind you. Square off the hips and drive the knee under for eight and seven and six and four. Last two. And last time, knee comes back under the hip, switch it out to the other side, extend your other leg back behind you, square off the pelvis and pull for eight and seven. Nice flat back. Last four, three, two, and one. Both knees down, bring the carriage all the way back home, sit all the way up and have a seat towards the back edge of your carriage. So here we're just gonna extend our legs outward right outside the shoulder blocks. You have about an inch behind you or a palm's distance behind you actually on the carriage. From here we'll bring our hands down kind of onto the top of the shoulder blades and lift the elbows up nice and high. Now squeeze the elbows into the ears so you've got this nice narrow position. Soften the front of the rib cage down, nice long spine. Hug into the side of the shoulder blocks with your inner thighs. When you're ready, inhale, grow taller. Exhale, rotate to one side, hug into the shoulder blocks. Inhale, back center. Exhale, rotate the other way. Inhale, back center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, back center. Exhale, rotate. Good, it's a lot of work to keep the pelvis stable as you rotate through the torso. So we're really thinking about concentrating that rotation around the lowest floating ribs. Nice job, elbows reaching high and narrow. Last four here. And three. And two. And last time. Beautiful job, relax those arms down. Very nice. So from here, let's come all the way up off of our carriage. We are gonna grab our short box and put it on. For me, I'm putting it in front of my shoulder blocks. I'm gonna put my headrest down and add a few more springs to stabilize the carriage. Foot bar can come down as well for now. Good, and we are going to sit on the box. <clears throat> facing front. So take both feet underneath that strap here. Sit up nice and tall on the sit bones. Go back to that same position, hands on the tops of the shoulders, elbows narrow and high. Pull back and up on your foot strap. When you're ready, just exhale, twist to one side. Inhale back center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Keeping those knees and those feet nice and still. Slightly less stable position here, so just take your time with this one. Really find that precise rotation at the base of the ribs. Let's do four, and three. Good, last two, and last time. Come back center, bring those arms, genie arms, one on top of another. Take a breath, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, tailbone tucks under, rounded spine. Roll the spine back. Deep in the abdominals, roll the spine up. Seated tall in the sit bones again, inhale. Exhale, roll the spine back. And roll the spine up. Let's just do two more right through the center. Inhale. 
and one more time. Now we're gonna hang out at the bottom here and we're gonna lift those arms up to the forehead and down up to the forehead and down. You've got gentle pressure in between those arms. Just two more like this. And last time, now we're gonna angle our body over to the right and lift and lower on a diagonal. Still even pressure through those feet into that strap. You've got four and three and two. Exhale as the arms come down. Last one. Come back through center. Rotate the ribs the other way and lift and lower. For four and three. And last time. Come back through center and sit all the way up. Ooh, very nice job. Okay, let's move on and add on a little bit of ro deeper rotation to the upper body. So arm position stays the same. One hand on top of the other, one forearm on top of another. You can switch out your arms now just to give it a little more, um, be a little more even. Let's round the spine and roll it back. Now we're gonna rotate to the right. We're gonna lift our arms up on that diagonal, around over the head, down to the left, and back center. Sit it all the way up. Inhale here, exhale, roll it down. Rotate to the left. Lift the shape of the arms up around the crown of the head, down to the right, come back center, and come up to seated. A few more just like that. Roll it back, rotate from the ribs, lift around the head, down to the other side, center, and rise up. And again, down, rotate to the left, up and around the head, down to the other side, center, and roll up. We'll just do one more to each side. Last time. And roll up, very nice job. Take that um, left foot, or that right foot out of your strap. Let's rotate onto our hip now. I'm gonna reach down and grab my ball. And so now I just have that one foot anchored underneath the strap. Let's take the ball just right to our chest, collarbones wide, shoulders down and back. Find a nice long line for the body. Good, reach out through the crown of your head here. From here, lower down a bit. Lift up and squeeze the ball. Lower down, lift up and squeeze. Imagine you had a little paintbrush on top of your head and you're trying to paint an arc on the other side of the room with that paintbrush. So nice long spine as you lower and lift. You've got four and three and two, last one. Find that long line again, rotate the torso towards the well, extend the ball on an outward diagonal, pull it back in and rotate back center. And again, rotate towards the well, reach out long and low, pull in and center. Hips are stable, you've got two more. Last time. Rotate back towards the well, bring that ball right next to your chest, arch the back, elbows wide, little lifts up for eight and seven and six. Last four, last two and last one. Forearm down to your headrest, big reach up and over, find that side stretch. Take a big breath. Let it go. Good job. All right, come on up. Let's switch over onto our other side here. Switching out the foot that's underneath the strap, coming all the way onto the other hip, finding that nice long line through the body. Crown of the head reaching away from that foot. Hips are stacked, ball is nice and close to the chest. Lower the bottom elbow down, lift the top elbow up. Again, you're finding that long arch of the body in both directions. Let's do four more here. And three. Last time, you're gonna find that long line of the body again. Rotate towards the well, reach out long and low, 
pull it in and rotate back center. Rotate, reach, in and center. Just two more here. And last time. Good, rotate back towards the well, ball is nice and close to you. Lift the heart forward and up, baby back extension and lift up for six, five, last three, and last time. Forearm down to the headrest, big stretch up and over. Take a big exhale here. Good. Come all the way up. You can remove your foot from that strap. I'm gonna come down to one heavy spring. You could choose a medium or a heavy spring here, honestly. We'll take that ball in between the inner thighs and then carefully reach back for both straps. So you've got a hug in on the ball and you're sitting slightly forward on the box, leaning into the wind just slightly. Arms go right outside of the box here and right below the shoulders, the line of the shoulders. From here, let's reach out on an outward angle and back down. Out and up and back down. Pull the low belly up and in. Reach long through the crown of the head. Every time you reach those arms forward, let's add that squeeze on the ball back in. Good, four more here. Can you find more length? The last two. And last one. Now stack the spine right on top of the sit bones, widen the elbows to the sides, hug the pinkies in and open them. Check in with your rib cage. I know for me it's a big tendency to let my ribs flare forward when I'm doing this series. So just check in there. Nice, little squeeze in on the ball as the pinkies come in. Last three. Last two. Last one, now we're gonna widen those arms out to the sides again. Elbows in line with the shoulders. We're gonna take a little rotation to the right. So we're gonna put a little more pressure into our left loop and see if we can rotate the torso. Slowly come back center, find even weight through both straps and then rotate the other way, exhale. Inhale, this should not be a big movement. Watch that the knees and the hips stay stable. I know it's challenging when you put all that weight in one arm. Exhale, squeeze the ball, use your ribs, use your waistline. Let's do four. Beautiful job, and three. Last two. And one more time. Come back center, flip those straps on top of your upper arms, lean into the wind again. Thumbs and forefingers are touching or close to one another, elbows are narrow. Let's extend both arms forward and back in. Good, the strap should be clearing your shoulders. By no means should they be rubbing deeply against the shoulders. Add that squeeze of the ball as you extend those arms forward. The last four and three. Collarbones wide, last one. Bring the hands in to frame the forehead. And now here, give me a constant squeeze on the ball. Press just your right arm forward and out. Bring it back in, find even tension, and then switch to the left. Our goal here is to not rotate, right? We're working against rotation here as we try to evenly press the arms forward, evenly squeeze that ball, keep even weight through the sit bones. The last four, the last two, and last time. Good job, carefully bring those arms down. We'll place our straps back onto their pegs. Good, and come down to one medium spring if you're not there already. So I'm just gonna step off the box for a moment. We are gonna move the box so that it's resting in between the carriage and the foot bar. 
Now mine is on a bit of an angle. Yours may be flat, either way is fine. We don't need the ball just this instant, so place it down by the side of your carriage. Good, and now we're gonna come down into a um, side plank. So one forearm is on the box. The knees are extended into a side plank. Take your time here to adjust so that you feel like your knees are in line with your shoulder, body's in one nice long line, pelvis is pressing forward. Press out of your forearm so that the shoulder stays away from the ear. Top hand on the hip. From here, we're just gonna press the carriage out a little bit, letting our bottom hip drop towards the well and then pull it up and in, arcing the upper hip towards the ceiling. Down and up, down and up. Maybe the top arm reaches towards the sky. Inhale, exhale. Let's do four more here. And three. Last time, find a long line through the spine, keep the carriage steady, rotate the torso so that the, the top arm can come underneath the bottom arm and then reach it up to the ceiling. Keep that carriage as steady and still as possible. Let's just do two more here. And last time. Beautiful, top arm to the sky, top leg extends. From here, again, we're gonna lower the hip down and lift it up. As you lift it up, see if you can also lift that top leg and tap your hand to it. Now, if this is too much, too many layers, you can go back to both knees on the carriage. That's it. Find what works for you today. You've got three more. And two and last time through. Beautiful job, both knees down. Let's rotate towards the well. I'm gonna bring my hands onto my box, press the carriage out for a moment and just take a big stretch for my shoulders before we move to the other side. So again, come in, bring your opposite forearm down to the box, adjust yourself into your side plank with both knees down. Shoulder away from the ear, elbow right underneath the shoulder. Hips are stacked. From here, let's just lower the bottom hip down and then lift the top hip up. You're arcing the body in two directions. We'll do four. And three, top arm can be up to the sky. Last two. And last time, hold the long line through the torso, press out of that forearm, rotate the top arm underneath, and then up to the sky. Now the carriage again is staying as still and steady as possible during this exercise. You've just got two more. And last time. Good, come back center. Maybe the top leg extends here. Lower the hips, lift the hip and leg. Lower and lift. Last three. And last time. Beautiful job. Again, one more time, let's shift over so both knees are down, hands on the edge of the box, sit yourself back and just wiggle the hips maybe a little bit. Give your shoulders just a moment of reprieve. And then we are going to come into a forearm plank with both hands on the box. So elbows are under shoulders. Forearms are parallel to one another. Good. Oh, and actually I'm gonna take my headrest up just so I have a little something to press against. I'm gonna take the balls of my feet right to where the carriage meets the headrest. You could also have your feet against your shoulder blocks, but I just prefer for this exercise to have my feet there. Now we're gonna lift our hips up, coming into our forearm plank. Keep the carriage steady, shift your weight into your right foot, drive the left knee to the carriage, and switch, and switch. Point through the toe of the foot that's coming in for four and three and two. 
pull the right knee in, rotate the right knee underneath you and out to the side like a little windshield wiper. For four, and three. Last one, bring that knee back center. Let's pike the hips up a bit and down a bit, up a bit and down a bit for four and three. Almost like a little flamingo position here with the legs. Last two, last time, both legs back down. Other knee comes in. Let's windshield wiper to the right and to the left for four. Last two, last time, knee comes to center, pike the hips up and down for four and three. And last time, both feet down and lower the knees. Very nice job, okay, beautiful. Let's take that box all the way off to the side. We are not gonna use it again. And we'll put our foot bar back up. So I am going to switch my springs out to one heavy spring. Take the medium spring off. Come to kneeling on the carriage. Feet against the shoulder blocks. Let's press our pelvis forward towards the foot bar. Press down into your foot bar. Lift up through the crown of your head coming into back extension. From here, we'll press the carriage out a bit and then pull the carriage in and up. Good, try to find that stopper there. Inhale out and exhale in. We'll just do three more here. Like you're squeezing little oranges underneath your armpits as you come up. Last two, those little seedless halo oranges last time come all the way up. Move both hands over to the right corner of the foot bar. You can have one hand kind of on top of the other slightly, and let's press out on a little angle and come up on a little angle. So I'm not coming out as far on this exercise, but that's up to you. You could go out as far, it's just not where I am at today. Good, maintain that back extension. Last three. And two. And last time. Separate both hands, walk them over to the other corner, shoulders away from the ears, and let's press out on this diagonal. Last three. And last time. Very nice job. Relax down onto your heels for a moment. Then we are going to just turn sideways, bringing our legs into a Z position with your right shin against your shoulder blocks. Try to even out the weight in those hips. Extend the arms out to the sides. Inhale, reach the fingers. Exhale, bring one hand down to the foot bar. Press out and over lengthening both sides of the waist. Come up and in. Exhale, press. Good. So you're trying to not press so much with the arm, but use the side of your obliques to open the springs. Last three. Nice, last two. Last time, reach up and over with your top arm, rotate towards the foot bar, widen your hands, press away. Anchor your back shin into the shoulder blocks, find more length. Once you have that length, come up into back extension and press out again. Just one more time here, really lengthen up and out. Good, press down and out. Now if you feel comfortable, you'll just take your right hand underneath your left and give yourself an additional little twist. If that's too much, just don't do that uh, part of the exercise. And then come all the way up. Rotate your torso back to the side. Beautiful. To transition, lift both knees up towards the shoulder blocks. Rotate your knees the other way. 
uh, left shin against your shoulder blocks, even weight through the pelvis. Reach those arms out to the side, inhale. Grow longer, exhale, hand down. Reach and lengthen. And then sit all the way up. Again, those obliques are still working to press the carriage out. Last two. And last time, up and over, rotate towards the foot bar. Find your backward pressure of your shin against your shoulder blocks, that opposition between your hands and your lower body. And then when you're ready, lift up into back extension and press back out. And two. And one more time. Good, you can hang out here or reach your left arm underneath you and take that beautiful deep stretch for the, twi the torso. Come back up, both hands on the foot bar, lift up, unwind. Very nice job, have a seat, feet flat on the floor, right in front of the hips. When you're ready, inhale those arms up overhead. Exhale the arms down. And one more time, inhale it up. And exhale it down. And you guys are all done. Great job today, guys. Make sure that you check out some of my other workouts to add on to this one. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another workout. And I do appreciate you being here with me. So thank you so much. See you next time. Bye, guys.